Alrighty, let's play this in full here. Boom, 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 ba -da -ba -dum. And stop. Cool, cool, cool. I like this. Uh, you are mentioning here that you wanted to do a different walk with a start and stop and moving the character here in a half circle here. That's cool. With a stop and go. And you're mentioning here the walk is not perfect. It needs to be cleaned up and fix some things like knee pops. Totally agree. Definitely here as you go down. I think it would be actually more fun to almost start the shot in the pose like this. I mean, you could go from here and then relax and then shoot back up into this. But I totally agree with the knee pops. Got some relaxed fingers as well. Maybe some relaxed arms. Definitely fingers. But I like the idea a lot. It's definitely complex to do a start and stop. And especially with a turn. I think what you could do is you could... It depends how far you want to go with the stylization. But you could have something where even if you start like this and it starts to dip into pose like this for his legs that you might even lean over this way to have a bit of a, I'm exaggerating, but a bit of a lean and then, you know, with the foot out and then step, or I mean, I guess if he steps this way, <laughs> he would lean this way and take that foot out here and then bam, get into a walk like that. And I'll probably keep those arms, like I said, relaxed and more closer to the body. Then as you do potentially a lean over, um, you know, have a bit of a change. I'm exaggerating with how much. It would really just be, you know, from this to maybe over here, a slight lean. That could be something fun to then, bam, go over this with a broader move to the right and then brought to the left and then kind of stabilize a bit to get into this. I would keep the feet out just so they're not so parallel to the, to the direction that he's walking. Something that's like that, maybe a bit less, but it's kind of fun to have something more like that. And I wonder if you want to reduce the forward and back translate on the head just a bit and whatever you reduce, add a bit more in the chest. And I'm talking really minimal things so that it's not just that lounging forward. But as you do, don't forget, you know, as you have some, let's pretend you're going to do uh, that lean. It's going to change your, your hip up and down. And because of that, your body will have some reversals. Because of that, the head can lean a bit left and right for balance. I just kind of pushed out a bit more, just a bit. Watch out, you have a bit up and down on the foot here, which is from the extended IK leg. So, kind of up to you how far you want to go with, you know, like a beginning anticipation to get into that walk. But I would still add a bit of something in the legs, I uh, mean, the fingers. Unless you just want to do just an exercise in terms of start getting into this and stop. I really also depends, again, how complex you want to make this. You know, like it would be leaning over into a step, but then this step and this step would be a bit slower and then you can ramp up into this where it starts to be slow and gets into the walk and that's the walk speed. And then towards here, it starts to slow down a bit and again with a bit more side to side. Especially at the end here. It's a bit slow how you get into that. You stay here and it's very slow drift over as opposed to potentially step, step and back a bit quicker. Just to have a bit of a fast left, right? It gets a bit floaty towards the end there. So let me know, you can always email me. Let me know how far you want to, you want to take this. It's good that you take a step and the arms keep swinging. That's cool. Given that they're so long, to me it seems like I would reduce this, maybe only go this far. But then on the way back, go a bit further. It's a bit of a of a more even swing. It's okay to favor one side, but this feels a bit 
front heavy there. And then it's kind of trying not to swing too far back. You can also experiment with it. You can also try to rotate the hand a bit. And so it's not so sideways. So maybe that the top part of the hand is a bit more facing us at this point. But again, it depends how far you want to take this in terms of asymmetry and, and general posing. But it's a great idea. I love I love that you're going to, that you're doing a start into a turn into a stop. That's a really great idea. Because it's very complex to do, it's complicated. It's already a good start. All right, so email me, let me know what your plans are so I can adjust some of the notes via email. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whatever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.